I wanted to come out here today and show you guys a couple additions to my vehicle emergency kit. And the first one I'm going to show you, I put in my Life Gear Wings of Life Survival Backpack. And actually keep it right here on the outside mesh pocket. And what it is, it's a set of three of Life Gear's emergency glow flares. I'm going to go ahead and set this stuff down and go over it with you. As you guys saw, I keep the emergency glow flares in the side pocket of the backpack here and like I mentioned it does come in a pack of three. Now these have replaced my old road flares you know that burned uh, mainly because there is no toxins or chemicals that can be released inside my Jeep if something were to go wrong with the road flares. Now these come in at seven and a quarter inches long so they're nice and compact you know you can keep them in the backpack like I have or you can throw them in the glove box, center console, and they're not going to take a, a whole bunch of room. Now, obviously, you also don't have to carry it in just your vehicle. You can keep it in the boat, maybe in your backpack, anywhere you feel you might need some kind of emergency light or red beacon to signal for rescuers or search personnel. Another really great feature with these emergency glow flares is that they come with a magnetic base. And I just keep them over in the spare pocket of the Wings of Life backpack. And the base is just a round plastic disc with a magnetic center. Okay, so if you're broke down on the side of the road making repairs, you can set this down and put your glow flare on there so it stays vertical. Because this white shaft will actually glow completely red when it's dark out. So you can take all three, line them up along the white line. That way your oncoming traffic can see that there's a roadside emergency or repairs going on and take appropriate action to get around you safely. Now, of course, if you're out, out in the mountains and broke down or lost, you can put this on the roof or the hood of your vehicle so that way emergency personnel can find you easier. Uh, obviously, if you're in a boat, the motor goes out in the middle of the lake or out on the waters, you know, you can put these around your boat and again, just help emergency personnel locate you a little bit easier. Now once it's on the base, you can just rotate it clockwise and that turns it on. You guys probably can't see it very well here in the daylight, so I'll do some more filming tonight when it's darker, that way you guys can see it. Again, just to turn it off, you go counterclockwise, shuts it off. Now these are run by three small cell button batteries, okay, and they are good for up to 100 hours. So, you know, if there's just changing a tire or a small emergency, you don't have to worry about running these dead real quick so you get 100 hours out of each uh, glow flare. Last thing that I wanted to show you about the emergency glow flares is if you do carry it on a watercraft you know your ski boat, your canoe, kayak, whatever you're using and you're worried about dropping these in the water you don't really have to worry because they do float and they are waterproof but you have to be careful you know you can't go scuba diving with these things they are only waterproof up to one and a half meters deep so you know you wouldn't want to dive down with them and you know try to explore some underwater caves or something with them but if you do carry it in your boat no worries it is waterproof and it does float so you can always carry it in your watercraft the other addition i wanted to show you guys i keep up here on my roll bar next to me while i'm driving and what it is is life gears auto safety tool and i'll go ahead and go over some of the features of this one with you in just a second yeah, the first feature I want to go over on the safety tool is the seat belt cutter. Okay, if you get in an accident, you find yourself stuck inside the vehicle, can't get your seat belt on done, you want to basically just put this plastic guard between yourself and the seat belt, placing the seat belt inside the groove. And you can see the razor blade inside there. You just pull, and that blade should cut right through your seat belt. Now, once you've got that undone, you find you can't open your door, you've got to break a window. There is a window punch on this end. Okay, just give your window one nice whack with that. Should be able to break it, get yourself out. Okay, there is a button here. Click that, and you've got a nice bright LED flashlight. Perhaps you got yourself stuck in the dark, so you want to be able to see what you're doing. You click it again, and it's going to turn on the red emergency light. Okay, tube there just glows like the emergency glow flares, but this will also keep the LED light on. Click it again, 
The red glow flare still, but the LED flashlight's off. Now to help you be seen better or more noticeable, you just click it again and the red will flash. Like I said, you'll probably be more noticeable. People might understand that as an emergency a little bit more than a solid red. Click it again, shuts it off. And you'll notice the four metal pieces around the flashlight, those are magnetic. So that way again, just like the glow flares, you know, if you want to put this on your roof, on the hood, a bumper of your vehicle, keep it vertical, you can with the red glow going and that'll just help you be seen better being vertical like that on top of your vehicle. Once you get yourself extracted from the vehicle, whether it's on its side or upside down, you can take your safety tool, turn on the red light, and use the magnetic base to go and stick it on there, help any emergency rescuers uh, find your vehicle, find you, and get you out of there. Hey guys, obviously I didn't break down on the side of the road, roll my Jeep off the side of a mountain, get stuck inside it, or anything like that. I just wanted to bring up some scenarios to show you guys that it might be a good idea to carry some extraction tools or emergency equipment with you, because you never know what's going to happen while you're out there. Always better to be prepared than not to be, right? So I hope this video gave you some ideas of some stuff you can add to your emergency kits so you are better prepared for next time you go out. So you guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Go out and live.